gotta find that spy. Maybe I should ask around. Already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Have a moment, Captain. Depends what you need it for. Just want to get to know you better, Captain. I don't usually mix business and pleasure, Lieutenant, but ask away and we'll see which questions I feel like answering. You from Ophir? Born and raised. Father was an officer, mother was a quartermaster, and I've rarely ventured outside the walls before a few scattered missions. Sound familiar, Lieutenant? Very familiar, Captain, except my parents weren't officers. Which makes your rise even more noble, Lieutenant. How was your rise to Captain earned? Hmm, over time, but by no special action by me. Graduated as a corporal, and thanks to the brave men underneath me, their success in missions became mine in rank. No heroic feats to dazzle you with in stories. Just a lot of time and dedication that I'm proud of just the same. What do you think of us? Honestly, Lieutenant? I'm not quite sure yet. You Technomancers are new to me. Undoubtedly special. I'm capable of feats my other units couldn't dream of accomplishing, but time will tell. That said, I've been quite impressed. I thought it was the definition of insanity to send you and so few of your men on some of those missions. Missions I would have anticipated needing ten times the manpower for. So far, you've proven me wrong. <laughs> A rare feat in itself. So even though it's taking some time getting used to, I couldn't be happier you're one of my troops. Can I ask about your relationship with ASC? Tread carefully, Lieutenant. One might start to wonder the purpose of your questions. But here's my answer. We're all forced to work with them, but it doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Too much power too quickly leads to arrogance. They're brash and too quick to act. And quite frankly, as they've risen in power, it's no coincidence that the dissenters, deviants, and rebels have risen in numbers. They're a great source of intel, however they get it. I sleep better at night not knowing the means. But I've always thought the army was strength enough, that the ASC was overkill. I trust you won't repeat anything I've said, Lieutenant. I'd hate for both of us to find ourselves enemies of the state over a little frank conversation. My lips are sealed, Captain, and I appreciate your candor and trust, more than you know. I want to know my men better. Tell me a bit about yourself. Oh, great. Show and tell. Yay. What do you do when you're off duty? Nothing special. See my folks, I guess. They ain't getting any younger, so... And I give most of my paycheck to them, because I'm the only one they got left. Sister died. And I am married, so... When I am with them, I'm at the bar, drowning the shitstorm that my life's become. Not exactly a picture-perfect life, but it's mine. And hell, I get paid enough to help them out and buy my own drinks, so what's there to complain about? What do you think about Jeffrey Hunter? He's a village idiot who thinks he can brown-nose his way to a promotion. Fucking reject. And no, he ain't my friend, if you haven't pieced that together. I'm gonna leave you alone. Seems you'd rather be that way anyway. At your command, Lieutenant! Have a second to talk? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. Like, just you and me, or...? Yeah, just you and me. I like to know my men. 
Wow, that's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'd be a huge honor, Lieutenant. So what's your life like when you're not on duty? I uh, tell you the truth, Lieutenant, uh, not much to tell. I, I try to visit the city, make some friends, you know, because I don't really know too many folks yet. And my whole family's back in Greenhope, which is kind of too far to travel for my leave. And, um, oh yeah, there's also, you know, I try to still do some hunting. Though there's not much more than small critters in the underworks, not a great hobby for the city. You have a good childhood? Oh yeah, you know it, Lieutenant. Really nice growing up, running around in the fields. Father gave me a crossbow, and I spent my time helping the farmers shoot critters hurting their crops. They were good times, Lieutenant, but everybody's got to grow up and move on. There was a lot of hunters in Green Hope, too. Plus, I always dreamed of being a soldier. Mostly, though, because there was a girl back home who loved men in uniform, so... Off I went to the big city to join up. And, you know, since I was a sharpshooter, they signed me up and sent me here. Still not used to it. All the buildings, all the folks, all the concrete. But I'm happy, though. Hmm. Feels like a Green Hope souvenir stand. Kid must be missing home. Unless being messy's a crime, though. Doesn't look like he's doing anything wrong. I can't open it without a code. Everything's clean in here. Looks just like the captain's work. Nothing that implies she's working with the ASC. I can't open it without a code. Lieutenant? How old are you? The fuck does it matter to you? Older than you, though. And the rest you can find in my file. Cool, moving on. I want to know about your childhood. You really want to know about my childhood? Sure, yeah, why not? My dad was never around. He was either on the front or doing drills. My mother, though, she was stationed here in Ophir. So we lived in a guard outpost in the slums where she worked. Never expected to make more of myself than become a soldier. I fought a lot as a kid. Had my share of girls. But home life was pretty strict, so I tried to toe the line. Mostly because when I fucked up, I never got off easy. So when'd you join? Five years ago. Time fucking flies, don't it? It was in 126. My parents were beaming with pride. Pride that's faded when, after all this time, I'm still just a fucking private. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go. How much do you know about what's going on in the barracks? Not much, and not really interested. I'm just a quartermaster, here to grease your wheels when they get rusty, not eavesdrop or gossip. Why are you asking? What are you looking to know? What do you know about Dave Ward? Quiet, brooding, asshole type. Not a talker, which is fine by me because he's not one I want to talk to. What have you heard about my captain? If you're looking for me to dish dirt, Lieutenant, you're barking up the wrong tree. She may be a woman, but this army could use more officers like her. She'd put herself in front of a bullet for her men. The army's her church. It's sacred to her. She will, and has, come to blows with anyone or anything that threatens to tarnish its image. Where it is, she's got one hell of a right hook. What about Jeffrey? I don't want to talk shit about anyone, not my style. But that boy? That boy's only barely sharper than a spoon. This must 
be a tip of his parents. His damn notes. Bastard's got my whole schedule in here, and the names of every single person we saw together. Must have been Dave keeping tabs on me the whole time. Never would have believed it. I guess if you could spot them, though, they wouldn't be so damn powerful. Lieutenant? I know you're a drinking man, so what do you say we go grab one together? Looks like it's my lucky day. Sure, why the hell not? Lead the way. So why don't you cut the bull and tell me why we're really here? Sure. You've been spying on me, Dave, and reporting everything back to Victor. I don't like rats. That's not all right with me. And what? You think I ever had a choice in the matter? Think I had the option to say no? I don't care. All I know is they got all the intel they wanted on me from one of my own soldiers, and I don't know why. What's your angle, Dave? You bitter you got a mancer as your lieutenant? I thought we were past all that. What'd they promise you? Promotion? Better pay? Nothing but a promise they wouldn't hurt my parents. Is that a good enough reason? I don't like the ASC. Don't like what they're doing to Abundance. Don't like what they're doing to me. I don't like the deal they offered, and I don't like I didn't have a choice but to accept it. I ain't got no one but my folks since my sister died. Not that I expect you to shed a tear for me, but if I gotta choose between them and you, sorry, brother. You're on the losing end of that. If it helps, though, I don't think you're the full prick you were before we had this little chat. In fact, I might even have liked you in another time and place. But you're in deep shit now. And it's shit I don't want to get pulled into with you. Dave, I'm sorry, but a rat's a rat, and there's only one way to make it any different. <clears throat> At least let me die with a weapon in my hand! Yeah! <laughs> 